there's no doubt there is a microscope on every single person within the club on and off the pitch. Jim Rackliff and his team are going to be going in there. I'm not saying notepads, notepads out as they're walking around, but they're going to be looking at every single facet of that club, particularly on the football side and the performance side, and working out what August looks like. What does season 24-25 look like for Manchester United? They're not going to write this season off because there's so much to play for. Champions League football, and I hate to bring it back to money, is a phenomenal... <laughs> It's a rocket into space for Aston Villa in terms of sort of increases in revenue. For Manchester United, who are on the edge of FFP, as a lot of clubs are, and we've seen in the January transfer window, it's gone dormant. Champions League football is the difference between sort of an extra 50, 60 million pounds in your bank. That's huge when it comes to the transfer window. So it's enormous for these players at United, for the staff, the coaching staff, the people off the pitch, that this season ends well. And the microscope is on every single player, every single member of the coaching team, every single member of the performance and medical, every single every single facet of the club. And they're all going to want to deliver. They're all under pressure. And they're stepping up a little bit. There's no doubt there's a, 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 a better feeling. There is a more ser there's a bit greater seriousness. feels like they're getting their players back, which obviously was a problem for Eric Ten Hag. So they're in with a shout of finishing the season well, but they're going to have to finish the season well. And I think they're going to have to finish above Aston Villa. You know, we said, I think before the game, we said there's a 77% chance that fifth place will deliver a Champions League space. Now, fifth place is not success for Manchester United, but it would still be a stepping stone back into the Champions League for that revenue to improve the squad, to get more business done. And for Villa, it would be unbelievable. One, as a football and sporting achievement, but also from a financial perspective for the owners and, and, and Unai Emery will be able to invest next season. So it's massive, this next 12 games. It really is. But you're right that the... the, the the change around seems to have coincided with Jim Ratcliffe's announcement. The club needed something. And most of all, I've spoken about it so many times, it needed a change up top. You know, culturally, just that shift. There's obviously a new CEO's already been appointed. Further changes will be made. I'm absolutely certain of that. But the big question will be at the end of the season, which does the manager remain? Do the players remain? They'll be the big sort of test. And I think those decisions will be un... No, those won't be determined yet. I think there'll be a lot to sort of look at. And Eric Ten Hag had a very good first season. He's had a lot of injuries to contend with in the first part of this season. If he can finish fourth, fifth, get into Champions League football, he has got a very good chance of obviously retaining his position and that continuity and stability that obviously, you know, your success, a successful club would need.